Hey, hello, how's everyone doing today? Thursday, surface chemistry session five. That's what's on right now. We're going to look at which side, which side, this side, this side, that side. <laughs> Missiles, colloid preparation, purification, and the properties of colloids. I know I told you last session that maybe we'll do a charge, but I think that's for the last one. We will save the best for the last. I see a lot of people in the chat. That's great. Hey, Sumit, good afternoon. Hello, Deepu. I missed a few on top. Laksh. Laksh, hello, hello, you guys are chatting, that's great. Naruto, what's up? Mayu, good afternoon, good evening, afternoon, all of that. Hey, hey, unstoppable, okay, great. Hey, pro boy, what's up, what's up? Awesome. So, yeah, I'm great, how are you all doing? How are you all doing? Uh, fifth session of this chapter, just one more to go. On Monday, we start with thermo, and Tuesday we do, what's the next one? What do you want me to do next? I think we'll do metallurgy. Organic How does that sound? Maybe we'll do isomerism in 12th grade and then after isomerism we'll do something like haloalkanes. Just wanted your opinion on that. I was thinking that you know P block and all though is a bit big but asana. I think yeah maybe you'd want to do organic is what my expert uh, how do I call him advisor tells me. Like I have another person called Ashish Singh who gives me brilliant chemistry ideas. So I spoke to him and he told me that maybe metallurgy ke baad you can do organic. So yeah. That's what 12th is we're going to do in 12th. Just a quick idea. 11th, I think we'll just continue. Physical pura karenge, uske baad dekhenge. Theek hai? Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I just slid over to the other side. <laughs> okay. This was the first homework question. Yes, Mayukji, that's the plan. I will do Pele organic in 12th. 11th, let me finish physical first. Theek hai? Uske baad we'll do organic. Physical mein abhi 11th, we'll do thermo. Thermo ke baad equilibrium, uh, wo sab cheese mein thoda time lag jayega. 11th mein. 12th for sure. 12th, right after metallurgy, we'll do organic. Yeah, metallurgy is just size, just charge sessions. So I've been just taking some time to plan all this out. Yeah, all right. Hey, Vaishnavi. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, great. Is Saval ka kya jawab tha? I know a lot of you gave me answers already. Hold on, let me open that Purana wala video. Is bar mein naam aap loka mil likhna bhool gaya. Ma bad on that. Thank you. Is bar mein naam aap loka mil. So, tell me, what's the answer to this one? Ye last time ko homework saval tha. How do you guys do on this? B, lipase. Everyone seems to be saying lipase. I had so many people comment here. I think I had, yeah, let me see. There was Shalini. Or uh, Kantha. Mayuk. The usual suspects. Great people. And Laksha. All of you told me that the first answer was B. Some of you said the first answer was, oh, everyone said the first answer was B. So it must be lipase. You guys are always right. Must be like this. Great, great. Dusra wala kya tha? Which of the following are correct? And here, the same same three people said that's A, so it must be A. A catalyst remains unchanged in mass and chemical composition at the end of the reaction. Do you want me to look at the other ones? Look, let me just look at the other options. Finely divided states of catalyst is more efficient for the reactions? Mm, okay. Well, sure. What about, hey, hold on. A nahi. Eight minute. Let me think this one through. B bhi to sahi lag raha that's all right, Naruto. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Catalyst change the equilibrium state of reaction? No, it doesn't. Kf by Kb, right? That's what equilibrium is. And since it increases both the rates forward and backward, it doesn't change equilibrium. A catalyst changes the entropy and free energy of reaction? This is a little difficult. This is But at this point, I'm going to say of the reaction, no. So remember, catalyst was doing something like this, where this was the you know, initial state maybe and final state. So the initial and final states remain the same. It's just this EA that gets changed. Okay, it's, it's like D wala wrong here. Why is A wrong, by the way? Ah, ah, there you go. Because everybody in the chat, I'm just looking at the chat. Two me sirf A bola tha aap logon Yeah? Two me sirf A bola tha aap logon hai. I was first ek baar check kara tha ki kya hua? Mehne to do answer sahi liye tha aap logon ne sirf ek kaise bola. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Now you, great, great, great. So, more to learn, more to learn. So, homework questions are not going to be that direct from now on. <laughs> I know, starting may I give you very easy ones just to increase engagement. You know how it is, right? Pehle baut asaan chiz hai taki everybody jumps onto it. Then you slowly increase the level. Okay, great. Nahi, yeah, exactly. Sorry about that scam. But yes, A and B are both correct. Okay. So, previous session ke baare mein hum log choti si cheez bas is session mein lana chate hai, which is the idea of associated colloids. Low concentration spe, Jo hai, they behave as strong electrolytes. Last session ki baat hi kar raho, nothing new. High concentration pe, they have colloid par, uh, properties, yeah? So, 
दिस इज बिकॉज दे एग्रीगेट दे कम टूगेदर नाउ क्यों करते हैं क्या है ये दैट्स वॉट वी गोइंग टू लुक एट दिस वी गोट लुक एट एसोसिएट कोलॉइड विच आर कॉल्ड माई सेल्स और मिस सेल्स डिपेंडिंग हाउ यू प्रोनाउंस इट राइट सोप्स एंड डिटर्स इज द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल यू हैव वेरी वेरी नाइस वेरी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एनिमेशन पर्टेन टू दिस ओके सो इस सेशन में वी गोट लुक एट ऑल ऑफ दीज पॉइंट ठीक है ऑन योर स्क्रीन राइट नाउ and this screen by the way in all my sessions whether it's 11th grade or 12th grade this kind of screen tells you ki ye topics ncert ke hain main bar bar aapko bolta hu ncert padhiye so this is for that neat mein multiple correct aa jate hain aajkal bayuk to i haven't seen it so agar galti se aa gaya to malum nahi but yeah by the way awaaz theek hai na matlab awaaz kam to nahi aa rahi hai mic thoda sa upar hai aaj awaaz is clear right are you guys able to hear me clearly tell me agar voice softer or something i'll just change this let me know yeah theek hai this is the fifth session so here is something very interesting saaf aa rahi hai okay great 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 so aaj ke session mein if you would have noticed i have done something interesting there is in the description box as usual okay great in the description box there is a small thing that says my cells or my cells in drug delivery aur uske niche ek ncbi.nim.nih ka link hai this is also something i'm going to do you are all going to become doctors so you must have a reason to study as to kyun pad rahe ho ye theek hai neat ke liye to pad hi rahe ho check that out that talks about how micelles or micelles are used in drug delivery okay very beautiful article ho sakta hai ki a large part of the article may go sar ke upar no problem bookmark it ek saal baad usko fir se dekhna and then you love that article theek hai uh, that's for you that's just for you guys i looked this up i thought that this will be enjoyable so check that out but from the industry point of view what's the use of a micelle right micelles and all of that uh laundry is 40% of hindustan unilever right now unilever's you know revenue right now i'm not making this up yeah these are stats you can look it up laundry matlab the whole idea of detergents and soaps and all of that so money wise yeah very important from the point of view of you guys becoming doctors or maybe going to research hardcore research drug delivery pharma i've given you that paper as well ye sab aaram se padhna this is extra stuff i know you have a lot of you know energy and all of you are very interested and you spend a lot of time online let's use that fruit uh, uh, you know in, in a fruitful manner theek hai baaki tum log session to padhai lenge so maza aayega it'll be good straight forward and all that but please check that paper out later on theek hai now what is a missel to give you a bit of a kahani pehle batai ab padhte hain kya what what's the real deal right they are tiny structures and they have about 1000 molecules 1000 may seem like a big number but we are talking about at molecules right so not that big and they attract one another but why do they do this why do they attract each other look what is a missel It's got a sodium salt of a high fatty acid. What is this? For fatty acid, जाने की this this R C O O N A. मेरे सर के जस्ट ऊपर जो है, right? So this part is R. Maybe has a negative charge, but also a positive charge. Is ये मैंने example लिया negative वाला और ये positive है. तो because of these negative and positive charges, you know what's going to happen? जहाँ पे negative और positive charge होता है, यानी कि polarity होती है, यानी कि वो पानी में अच्छी तरह से dissolve होते हैं. और जो ऑयल है मतलब जो ग्रीजी पार्टिकल जो आपके कपड़ों पे गिर जाता है द टेस्टी ऑयल और घी दैट यू गेट दैट इज सराउंडेड बाय दिस नॉन पोलर पार्ट मैं छोटी छोटी चीजें लिख रहा हूं ऑल ऑफ दिस मे और मे नॉट बी एन सीआर बट इट्स गुड इट्स गुड टू नो ठीक है ये पोलर है ये नॉन पोलर है सो पोलर डिजॉल्व बाई वॉटर एंड नॉन पोलर इज बाय ऑयल ठीक है ऑल्सो देर आर मेनी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डर्ट इट्स एन एंटायर साइंस एम नॉट मेसिंग विद यू एन टर्न विथ यू लिवर एंड दे इज ऑर्गेनिक डर्ट इन ऑर्गेनिक डर्ट हर चीज के लिए अलग अलग दस चीजें डालते हैं उसकी वजह से आपका सफेदी टाइट वाली मिलती है नॉल ऑफ दैट यू नो खैर हियर इज एन एग्जाम्पल दिस बिग आर वैल्यू इज दिस गाई राइट हियर सी एच थ्री सी एच टू सिक्सटीन टाइम सी ओ माइनस ये जो मैंने दो पार्ट आपको बताए अभी हमने मैंने आपको बहुत अच्छी थियोरी बता दी विच इज द आइडिया ऑफ पोलर एंड नॉन पोलर द पोलर पार्ट इज हाइड्रोफिलिक ओके द नॉन पोलर पार्ट इज हाइड्रोफोबिक क्यों Why do you think this is? Anyone wants to go on the chat, you can do that. Hydrophobic change, polar group, hydrophilic part, polar hydrophobic. Okay, sodium stearate. Okay, do you do you, do you want to know like why is it? Why is it like this? Why is it hydrophilic? Why is it hydrophobic? And I just have to pehle iske just just the slide before this I told you some detail. But let's check out this cool, tiny, uh, <laughs> tiny animation, right? Sodium stearate guy is showing. This is the head. This is the tail. Okay. Now this is the funky animation i was talking about hold on let me just change over to the pen and here we go let it play you've got a soap solution here okay 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 as a non polar part of the long chain hydrocarbon did they correctly right oh i'm going to like duck so you can see this more clearly <laughs> there's a na plus ion there you're all chilling 
those big things, those small things are the water ones, the red and the white ones, yeah. The blue ones are Na plus ions. You know what this happens, right? Pani mein dalo to plus or minus ion separate ho jate. Now, if I put enough of these ions, enough of them, right? These hydrophilic parts, the negative part get attracted to water. That's what this one's showing. Hydrophobic, jo tail hai, it's away from the water molecules. This is highly exaggerated, this, uh, this animation that you see here, right? Obviously, there are a lot more than just five or six atoms around this. There are thousands. Care. What are we doing next? Hold on. I think this is just playing again. Ye part to clear hai. You, wanna, you guys want to see this one more time? Hey, Shay. Hey, Arsalan, Lion Man. How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. I'll call you Shay because you like being called Shay. We'll do Shay instead. Theek <laughs> hai. Cool. So what's the mechanism of this whole thing being formed? Yeah, that was a small animation to see that. Jab isko paani mein hum log dalte hain. By the way, I say lion because of Narnia, right? Arsalan is the name of the share in, in uh, Narnia. That wardrobe wali cheese. <laughs> okay. So this dissociation to these ions, blah, 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 blah. We have already talked about this. This arrange how does it work? CO minus goes closer to water. The hydrocarbon chain goes away from water. But means it's surface. Plata. You see this clearly. Let's see this a little attention. These particles, it looks like they get pushed to the surface. Okay? And the hydro... Philic parts are inside water. ये थोड़ा exaggerated idea है. But as soon as you get enough, इसलिए आपको बोलते हैं ना कि इतना डालो, दिखते हैं लियो कि they need to put like half a spoon or whatever और liquid डालो, इतना पानी में इतना ये ratio डालना होता है in your soaps and detergents when you wash with the machine. That's to get this perfect concentration. Okay. Once you have that, they form these cagey structures. और यहाँ बीच में आपका होगा oil particle. Maybe you already know this. अच्छा सा diagram है. We'll look at a cool, nice diagram in CRT. We'll look at an animation as well. This at this high concentration, they get pulled into the bulb and they help form an aggregate in a sort of a spherical form. When I say spherical, you know this theory, right? Reality may be a lot but theory may let's assume it's spherical. This may say the hydrocarbon chain will point towards the center. Why center? Because you have to oil which is trapped. So, the center may be that's cool, but something should keep it there in the middle, it's not empty. Hai? And the CO minus part is outward at the surface of the sphere. And this puri cheez ko hum log misal bolte hain, which is around 100 ya 1000 ions ho sakta hai, don't know, it could be either, yaar. Don't worry about it, with 100 or 1000, it's both, both are markable. Are all, I can say Arsalan also great, I like Arsalan man, I, I really like the lion wala naam. <laughs> hey Kriti, what's up, what's up? I haven't been looking at the chat for some time, I got very involved in the whole kahani about missiles and all of that. Uh, I'm good, how are you man? Uh, Proboy, are all uh, hydrocarbons hydrophobic? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Proboy? Uh, organic may, thoda sa, I know I'll start organic, restart organic in 12th grade, 11th grade we'll do later. The thing is ki every molecule can be polar, right? That has to do with the vector sum of the bonds, the pol polarity of the bonds. I'm going a little bit, thoda sa side mein, right? So if I have CCl4, hai, this is non-polar or ye hai organic compound, hai na? But, because the dipole moments hai, by these angles, they get kind of cancelled out. Hai? They get cancelled out. But, if I have something else, like, uh, let's say, CH, CL3, then its dipole moments are going to be, you know, not cancelled out. Its direction will down. Yeah. Don't worry about the direction right now, but basically, the vector sum doesn't equal to be, is not zero, right? So, when the vector sum of dipole moments of each of the bonds is non-zero, then it's polar, right? If the vector sum is non-zero, then it's non-polar, okay? That's the broad idea of a chota sa molecule. But, compared to say CO minus, this doesn't matter. CHCl3 doesn't matter. That's another thing. So, while this is polar, this has clearly got a very char large charge separation, like negative pura charge here. Okay, here maybe there may be a delta plus and delta minus, etc, etc, all of these things But this is like a clear negative charge. Does that answer your question? Uh, hold on, who asked one of them? Let me just scroll up here a little bit. Wait, who asked that question? Did the question go away? I don't see it here. Cool. Yeah. Ethanol is a hydrocarbon probe. 
Okay, it's not a hydrocarbon. I get it. Ethanol is a functional group is OH. I understand. Probiotics. Okay, okay, cool. Good, good. We are already organic. Ke josh mein ja rahe. That's good to know. That's good to know. Bahut sahi hai. I love these questions. You know why? I'm not just saying. No, I'm messing with you. Because that's the point of chemistry. It's all together, right? You cannot separate organic from inorganic from physical. Sab cheez saath mein hoti hai. We choose to study it separately. Taki hum log samaj paaye. Theek hai. Once we understand it, application mein to bhai sab ko jata hai. Theek hai, including maths. <laughs> ah, maths. Yeah, but including maths. Cool. Here is the nice animation I was talking about. Now, if you go to something called craft temperature, I'll tell you what that is just a minute. And you have a critical missile concentration, then this is what happens, right? Check it out. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. Thoda sa math, Naruto. Fun math. Not the scary math. Not the calculus type. They align themselves in such a way that the long tails come to the center or jo hara wala part hai, which is the polar part, yeah, the CO minus wali part, that tends to go to the outside. It's a very cool animation. And once you see this, you're never going to forget it. You're never going to forget this. And this is a missile. Is medium na hard? Okay. I don't know, bro. 2024. We have a time machine or something. Hum log 23 mein hai, dost. Let's see that one more time. This is the short part. I can't drag it forward. Hold on. Okay. Let's just watch this small part first. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Naruto. Amazing, amazing media team here that made all of these things. I'm just letting it play one more time. Yeah, and that's a missile for you. And you have many of these missiles that trap oil particles in between. And this is a nice safedi milti on clothes and all of that. Now, you may feel that, yes, I understand how soaps and detergents work. But remember, this is only removal of organic dirt. Inorganic dirt ka hatane ka mechanism bilkul alag hai. This is not an NCRT. No one's going to ask you this. But hold on to your horses. Theek hai. This is only for organic dirt. All right. I mentioned two things. One is critical missile concentration. Very casually use that term. Another thing called craft temperature. Right? Wo dono cheeze kya hai? Critical missile concentration is the concentration above which this formation happens. Okay. Maine bola tha na ki maybe like half cup in one one bucket of water, whatever it may be. Jo aapko broadly bolte hai. They make sure ki it's above that value. Theek hai. And एक पर्टिकुलर टेम्परेचर पे होता है अगर टेम्परेचर इससे कम हो देन दिस विल नॉट हैपन ठीक है दिस इज बिहाइंड दिस वाज नेम आफ्टर जर्मन केमिस्ट फ्रीडरिक क्राफ्ट ओके एंड द सॉल्युबिलिटी इज ऑलमोस्ट इक्वल टू द क्रिटिकल मिसाइल कंसंट्रेशन ये दोनों आइडियाज हैं अगेन नॉट एन एनसीईआरटी बट गुड टू नो इट्स गुड टू टाई द होल थिंग अप नाइसली हे राघवेंद्र गुड टू सी यू मैन वेलकम बैक द क्लिंजिंग एक्शन ऑफ सोप सोप that's what's up next, right? Yeh sab hota kaisa hai? Mainne aapko animation dikha liya. Let's just, let's just put it down here. If somebody is, you know, watching this, just this section of the video later on maybe, we'll go over it. Taki aapko notes likhne mein asa nahi ho. The polar group of a detergent is very similar. The cleansing action of a detergent is very similar to that of a soap. The difference main one is ki usme CO minus hota hai, yaha pe SO4 minus hota hai. Thik hai? This is the polar part of the entire chain. So it's going to be like, a big thing there and SO4 minus. Oh, yeah, right, right <laughs> below what I'm writing. This is a minus, not a plus. Right? This is a lauryl sulfate uh, salt. Mechanism is exactly the same. Why is the polar part in the oil? Ki taraf. Let me use a different color here. The yellow is not showing up too much, right? Let's use this dark blue. And this no, polar part is in the And non polar part is in the polar part. Non-polar part comes closer to this oil stain. Let's call this the oil stain. That's it. And then after a point in time, when you have enough of these together, they come here, right? Now these are fat soluble. That's what this is trying to say. Why? Because both of these, this is non-polar and this yellowish chain also is non-polar. Ye hai polar. Cool. The same thing that you saw in the animation is what is happening over here. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So this process is just basically tells you how the cleansing action of soaps and detergents work. Any doubts here? Minimum concentration temperature required for missile formation are CFC crafted room. Bingo! Naruto has summarized that beautifully. Yes, Mayu. Kudos to the team. Thank you. I will definitely let them know. Thanks, Mayu. Thank you. Okay. Great. So 
these guys together, soaps and detergents, are known as surfactants. Now, why surfactants? Why surfactants? Why do you think? Because they make the surface active. Surface of what? All these muscles and all of that. Okay. Okay. Quick question. At the critical methyl concentration, CMC, the surfactant molecules associate, dissociate, decompose, or become completely soluble. What do you think? A, B, C, or D? Straightforward questions, just to make sure that everybody is awake. Shuruwale sawal hamesha thode straightforward hote hain. Option A, Mayuk says option A. Okay. Dipanvita and Naruto are both saying in option A. Proboy also is saying A. You have to say sir and all har bar yaar. Lot to type. I want you guys to be focused. Don't worry about the typing. Sunia Ram says, Samjiye. Make notes if you can. Hello, Asiya Ji. Okay, six. Kriti, seven. Good. I think everyone agrees. It's associate. Yeah, they come together. Aggregation is the same as association. Kabi kabi, some of these questions that I'm asking you, maybe they are testing your English and nothing else. That's good. It's okay. English is your pakka karrenge sahi hai. Vaishnavi as well saying, absolutely right. Let's go to the next question. Next question. The positions of non-polar and polar parts in a missile are, what do you think? Polar at the outer surface, but non-polar at the inner surface. Or, are they polar at the inner surface, non-polar at the outer surface? Distribute all over the surface. Present at the surface only. What do you think? Arshalan ji giving the answer to the next one looks like. Yes. Dibanvita, Mayuk, Naruto, Proboy, Deepu, Asiya, everyone is going with A. Great. Great. Everyone's been listening and that's amazing. Okay, this is the right answer for this one. Okay. Let's move on to the ways in which colloids are prepared. Okay. There are three broad ideas. Chemical methods, electrical disintegration. Sounds scary, like literally shock treatment and peptidation. In a one minute idea of what these are, chemical methods, make some chemical reactions so that you get the perfect size of a colloid. Electrical disintegration, if there is a big part, I pass electricity through it, I break it apart. Peptidization is a new thing. We will see it. This is somewhat like a chemical method itself. But you do something very funky because it's a physical thing. I'll tell you what peptidization is. It's an interesting idea. It's an interesting idea. All are A. Oh, pro boy. Look at that conspiracy theory. A supremacy, Naruto. <laughs> yes, Komal. Option A was correct. Hey, there's no lag, right? We move on to the next one. We will look option A. Bol rahe. <laughs> okay, cool. Three, three ways of preparation of colloids. Let's look at chemical methods first. These are the easiest to understand, but also... Sawal is se bhoat aate hai, to sare bhoat cheeze mag karni padengi. Thik hai, there's no other way to, for me to say it. So you have different kind of reactions. Oxidation, reduction, double, decomposition, etc. Lot of them, right? They form some sort of aggregate molecules and they give salts. Here they are. First one, reduction. It is showing how it reduces. Gold is AuCl3, which is 3 plus, becoming 0. It means it's a reduction. Obviously, if it's reduced, it's going to be oxidized. Look, this is our good friend. It's oxidized. What is this? Aldehyde. And it's made acid. Double decomposition is straightforward. AS2O3, 3H2S gives you AS2S3 and 3H2O. Oxidation, how is it? I know that it's redox, but I've shown the reduction in this way because I'm interested in figuring out how a colloid is made. So my focus is on colloid. That's why I'm saying that by reduction, I get a colloid. Similarly, I say by oxidation, I get a colloid. Now this is a very interesting reaction. You know what kind of reaction this is? This is called PPD say colloid, peptidation, colloid say PPD, coagulation. Aray vah! Aray vah! Good job, good job. Exactly, Mayu. This is an interesting reaction. There are two things happening here. H2S is SO2. Think about it. It's not oxidation, but it's also a reduction of the bond. Right? I won't go into detail, but one type of disproportionation. It's called con-proportionation. Okay? I'll read it later. I'm just writing it here. I'm not going to talk about it. It's not a fancy thing. It's just a thing. If you get one oxidation from two, you say it's disproportionate. If you get it, you say it's con-proportionate. That's all. Okay? Is it con or com? My memory is not good. I think it's con, but just check. It could be com as well. Either way. Not a part of meat. Don't have to worry about it. Last one is hydrolysis. Hydrolysis is what happens? FeCl3 is put in water. 
if you have Shotra is ban gaya. This is something you would always, we would also look at when we look at peptization. Similar peptization. Similar example will be taken for peptization. Okay. So there are, these are a few chemical methods. Check out NCRT to do this inside out. Electrical disintegration is, as I told you, you take a big particle, you zap it with electricity and, and yeah, you get colloid size particle. There is a special apparatus called Bredig, Bredig's arc that's used for this. And it's saying that it involves both dispersion and condensation. What is dispersion and condensation? Dispersion means like, like things becoming you know, smaller. Condensation means things coming together and becoming larger. Size of particles. Okay. So, you have metals such as gold, silver and platinum. These are expensive metals. I don't have to tell you that, right? <laughs> This is why you use this. Why do I use it only for these? Because electricity, using anything in electricity is very, very expensive. Yeah? Because you need a very high amount of charge to cause electrochemical reactions to happen. You have done electrochemistry with us in the past. So you have an idea about this, right? Uh, when we do metallurgy, we will look at, uh, I think, bauxite, say, alumina nikalna. And uh, I'll give you some numbers there. Yeah? Huge amount of charge is used, very, very expensive way to produce these salts. But it's worth it because you're trying to get salts of these guys. It's calm. Thank you, Naruto. I was like, I have written something Calm proportionation. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, they're so active. It's amazing. Calm proportionation. Okay. Yeah. Fill in the blanks. <laughs> okay. So, here, see, these electrodes are dipped in this dispersion medium. Okay. This right here is the dispersion medium. And along with electricity, which is power, comes a lot of heat. That's why the setup is the way it is right now. Now, when you pass electricity through this, these two metal electrodes, yeah, in this whole thing, you complete the circuit. And remember, let me just go back here for the bigger one. I've got these metal electrodes and there's dispersion medium. So by passing electricity, what I'm eventually essentially doing is key from this guy, I'm putting ions into the solution and from these ions, some of the ions are then going back here. But is this correct? Hold on. Let's just think a little bit. Yes, it's ice. Absolutely pro work. Uh, is this right or not? Hai? Oxidation is in anode. Pe. Cath cathode is in reduction. Let's analyze that part quickly. You guys help help me. This is where electrochemistry ki knowledge will be really helpful. Did you guys study that properly? Let's test that. Aap mujhe bataiye, kya hoga? Let's say there are the same. Dono taraf gold hai. Theek hai. Plus, matlab ki, this guy is pulling electrons this way. Negative yane ki, this guy is pushing electrons this way. Aray, kya hoa chat pe, koi kuch boli nahi raha hai. Bataiye na, ki kaha pe kya hoa? Is this correct that ions are formed here or ions are going back here? Red cat and ox. Absolutely. Red cat and ox. Okay. But the electrons are rahe hain. Hmm. Yani ki agar electrons are rahe hain, then ulta ho jayega. Hai na? If electrons come here and they get consumed over here, matlab ki yahan pe ions aayenge. Say AU3 plus ions will come here and they will accept electrons idhar. Because electrons yahan pe ja rahe hain. Aur yahan se electrons push out ho rahe hain. Yani ki idhar AU plus 3 electrons. Nahi, ulta bol raha. AU will give AU3 plus, plus 3 electrons. Ye teen electrons will get pulled by this chap here. Thik hai? Yes, red value pe oxidation ho raha hai. Is pe ho raha hai reduction. Thik hai? Ho gaya pura electrochemistry revise. Is 5 minute mein. Hai na? Are we good? I am taking a little bit of time. Because ye sab bhoat zaruri hai. Isko kisi bhi mag nahi karna hai. Thik hai? Ye sab achhi tarah samajna hai. Yes, Kriti. Great. So, blue wale pe hume deposition milega. Blue wale pe deposition milega. So, sochne do kya kya? Haan. Dousra color use karo taki confusion nao. Baad nebhi. Isse hum aay paas. Ah, yeah. Ye wala color. Ye toh jeep color hai. Let's use uh, green. Isse nikal raha hai. And this guy is what is getting them. Yes. Deposition hoga is pe. Yes. Everyone's good with this? Yes. We went off track a little bit but not really off track. Because I want you to make sure that all things are known, not just one chapter mug and you forgot. Right? Okay. Electric arc is struck. What happens? 
इंटेंस हीट निकलता है जिसकी वजह से भाई मेटल वेपराइज उसके बाद ऑल ऑफ दिस चीजें होती है ग्रेट 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 so the preparation of lyophobic salts by chemical method involves what hold on do you have any doubts in this so far any doubts here koi kuch bol nahi raha hai 1 minute or i'll just wait okay cool bahut zyada garmi hoti hai uski wajah se vaporize jo hota metal and just forms colloidal particles right there as well so we have made a setup so that this process is you know kind of is it overtakes the whole what you might call it electrolysis part the electrolysis would be you know it would work if one of these was maybe impure impure kaun sa hota hai aapko yaad hai agar koi one of these was impure tabhi ye pura electrolysis hota अगर दोनों की कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सेम है इफ दे आर बोथ प्योर देन द ओनली थिंग दैट हैपन व्हेन यू पास इलेक्ट्रिक आर्क बिटवीन देम इज दिस दे जस्ट वेपराइज ठीक है ये पार्ट क्लियर है पक्का मैंने आपको पूरी कहानी तो बताई आई नोट कैथोड के बारे में बट वो तभी होगा अगर दोनों के पोटेंशियल अलग अलग हो बट अगर दोनों इफ बोथ ऑफ दीज आर द एग्जैक्ट सेम कॉन्सेंट इज आर द एग्जैक्ट सेम प्योर मेटल्स देन दे विल दिस विल नॉट हैपन राइट All that that happens this circuit is complete बहुत ज़्यादा गर्मी होगी और वो बस टूट के अंदर चला जाएगा That's what's happening here. Cool. This why we are talking about अच्छा वो पहले बहुत टूट के बिल्कुल छोटा हो जाता है और फिर इट कम्स बैक टूगेदर टू फॉर्म दिस ठीक है The electrolysis bit was just to remind you कि that's also something that could happen. That's not what happens here. ठीक है You can read up an NCERT सी आराम से दिस इज अ वेरी डायरेक्ट थिंग गर्मी की वजह से जस्ट वेपराइज वॉट दैट्स वॉट आइस लिखा था ना कोई बोला पीछे की आइस है कि क्या है That's why that was there. Cool. And about the option D, कोई option D बोल रहा था मनमयू इस सवाल में all of these, yeah yeah this one's okay. All of these <laughs> were lyophobic salts, and they can be prepared by this guy, this guy, this guy, and all this. Double decomposition example था uh, H2S और नहीं AS2S3 वाला form हो रहा था right? AS2S3 being formed, oxidation and reduction तो we saw examples, एक uh, oxidation reduction था इसका ऑक्सीडेशन था सल्फर का हाइड्रोलिसिस वाज एफ यू एच पोल्ट्राइज कूल ऑल राइट गुड जॉब गुड जॉब एवरीवन गेटिंग दिस करेक्ट दीपान विदा नरूटो दीपू आसिया जी एज वेल एज वैष्णवी नो डाउट्स अबाउट ब्रेडिक साक मेथड राइट जस्ट वेपराइजेशन हैपेंस देयर छोटे-छोटे पार्टिकल्स बन जाते हैं डायरा कोलोइडल साइज ऑसम गुड जॉब गुड जॉब एवरीवन लेट्स मूव ऑन टू पेप्टाइजेशन सो व्हाट वी डू इज वी कन्वर्ट अ प्रेसिपिटेट इनटू a colloidal salt which is what somebody had pointed out right at the top hey abhinandan kriti everybody is saying this correctly kisne bola tha ye colloid to ppt is present uh, <laughs> ppt to colloid is peptidization and colloid to precipitate is aggregation ye kisi ne upar bola tha bahut achhi cheez boli thi abhi mil nahi raha yaar pro boy what can i explain hey rudrash what can i explain again what sudrash what can i explain again <laughs> when you when you want me to explain something again ek bar mujhe ye bhi bata do good job pro boy uh, rudraj ki kya explain chahte ho ki main fir se karu that will be helpful theek hai i can go back if you want but please tell me what you want me to explain so we put a small amount of electrolyte now what is an electrolyte do maine abhi tak wo bataya nahi hai ki peptidization abhi shuru hi kiya hai just started i have just started So that's all right. We've just started baptization. <laughs> You're not late for baptization. You can look at the other stuff once the video is done. But baptization, I'm going to start again. So, what does electrolyte have to do with any of this? Electrolytes' ka main thing is that they are charged particles. And I have given you a hint that colloids are charged. It has something to do with that. So, if you have some sort of uh, If you have a way to induce a charge in a place where the precipitate is, then these colloids get stabilized. These all things will be a little random lagegi until I explain to you what is the point of a charge on a colloid and how is it that that because the charge things are stabilized. ठीक है? They don't carry electricity. Mayuk, that's an interesting thing. For electricity, think think about this, right? 
मैं पानी में सुबह गार्गल करते वक्त मैं एन डालता हूँ उसमें एन प्लस और सी एल माइनस आय जाते हैं तो आई यू सेंग दैट इट कैरीज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फ्लोज वेन देर इज अ डिफरेंस इन पोटेंशियल आय तो सब जगह होते हैं पानी में मोस्ट अ लॉट ऑफ एनीथिंग पोलर यू डिजोल्व इन वाटर इट लाइकली इट्स लाइक यू गिव यू आय राइट सो आय का प्रेजेंस डज नॉट मीन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इफ यू मेक ऑल ऑफ दोज आय फ्लो इन अ पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी माई यू एंड वी विल यूज दैट That's a good point. There's something interesting you have said. Hold on to that thought. Yes, Deepa, beta. Is electrolyte one of the peptidizing agent? Both are because there's a charge. Okay. So precipitate, we have to go back to colloid. But hold on. This can't be done in all places. I think this is possible in a lyophilic colloid. You remember? We said that lyophilic are reversible. Lyophobic 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 So, if you get FeO H whole thrice, maybe in your reaction, in your excitement, you made the concentration that yeah, it precipitate. Ho gaya. What I do is I add a little bit of FeCl3. Now a little bit of FeCl3. So, you Fe plus three plus ions come out. Those come out, and this is known as peptidizing peptidizing agent, and they adsorb, adsorb on the colloidal surface, on the colloidal particles like this, right? Look at this. If this is FeO whole thrice, उसपे छोटे-छोटे Fe three plus आ जाते हैं. This is what gives it a plus charge. And because there's a plus charge, एक plus charge दूसरे plus charge को repel करता है. And because of this, these colloids are stable. ठीक है? Okay. So this is a process of peptidization where you added a small amount of electrolyte. FeO H was like, ठीक है, I'm done. I'm going to form an aggregate. I'm going to form precipitate. FeCl three की वजह से, FeCl three की वजह से Fe three plus ion जाते हैं and they like. We'll protect you, yeah. And plus size the repel, so it breaks the bigger aggregates into smaller colloidal size particles. Okay. So just to summarize that peptidization bit, Rudrash, I hope this is okay. You get electrolyte ions on the surface, positive हो सकता है, negative charge भी हो सकता है, depending on the type of you know colloid you have. And then जो बड़ा particle है, it breaks into smaller ones and they stay stable. Is that all right? Yes. Lakshya, great. Dupanvita, great. Uh, Rudrash was asking them questions. I hope is everyone is okay. Yeah. Any doubt so far? Are you saying yes to a doubt? <laughs> okay, no doubt. Like, hey, Deepu, great. I think some kuch log thoda piche dekh rahe Maybe that's why it's coming. Yeah, apologies for that weird typography. Let's look at how to purify a colloidal solution. Yeah, some of these ideas we're going to use electricity thing that somebody spoke up. I think Mayuk was talking about electricity. We will use that to purify colloids. Uh, now see, I have added an electrolyte, say like in peptidization, to prepare the colloid. But chakkar yeh ki kam hai thoda zada electrolyte dal diya, then that'll you know mess things up, and that'll cause the colloid to precipitate. I've mentioned this many times. It's like the Goldilocks zone. Colloids are lie in the middle of solutions and aggregates. If you push it a little bit, it'll precipitate. So we need to purify colloids, remove those electrolytes. Electrolytes luckily are charged, and we're going to use that property and also the fact that colloids are quite large as compared to solution particles. ये दोनों चीज़ हम लोग ये दोनों properties हम लोग use करेंगे to purify them. ठीक है? Electrolytes are those three impurities. Yes, Rudrash, absolutely right. Proboy. Mist as well. Yes, aerosol. सही बोला आपने क्यों रिट्रैक्ट करूं मिस्ट बिल्कुल सही बोल रहा है. So उस that Rudrakshal maybe in the first session we spoke we spoken about that quite a bit. Not first I think previous session I meant. So थोड़े electrolytes are good but too much electrolyte not so good. Yeah, they will coagulate it. ये शब्द मैं शायद पहली बार use कर रहा हूँ यहाँ पे I may have used it lightly. What is coagulation? This is the same as aggregation. यानी कि things coming together. This is what we use. You know, like a technical term to say, yes, colloids are destroyed, are coagulated. So we must, you know, keep like a fine balance of impurities. There are three ways to do this. The first one is something you may have heard of before, dialysis. Second one is electro dialysis. Last one is ultra filtration. As the name suggests, this has something to do with electricity, right? And is basically just this with electricity. Ultra filtration is just that, like super fancy filtration. So let's look at what dialysis is to start with. We are going to use a very very cool membrane that lets sol solvent particles pass through. Now, 
let's call it dispersion medium. It lets dispersion medium particles pass through. It lets uh, what you want to call it electrolytes pass through. But the thode se bade uh, colloid particles hai, think of it as a bouncer who stops them. Like nah, no entry for you, and it doesn't let the goes go through because they're too big. They literally don't fit. Precipitation and coagulation, Deepanda. That's an interesting question. Precipitation and coagulation. Coagulation may see precipitation is ki uh, I have a chemical reaction that forms precipitate. So it's not necessary ki there's a colloid in between. Coagulation is specifically for colloids. Yes, colloids the, but wo bichare coagulate ho ke precipitate ban gaye. So coagulation is a process of colloids being destroyed or aggregated. Precipitation can happen to anything. It's not necessary ki beech mein kuch, there's some step. So it's just like a, you know, splitting the hairs and sort of a definition kind of a thing. So in terms of colloids, coagulation, precipitation general. Cool. Okay. Similar to kidney. Whoa, proboid. Absolutely. That's why you've heard of this. That's why you've heard of this. Okay. So that's exactly how our kidneys work, by the way. They let the bigger particles, they stop them and let everything else go. In fact, that's why you use a animal membrane or a bladder or some sort of paper that has, you know, everything has pores, you know, like uh, it may seem like this shirt is solid or it may seem like my skin is solid, but it's definitely not. Skin has pores, right? That's how I sweat. Steel, maybe it has fewer pores. So you need to have pores that are just the right size to let water or other disperse, dispersion medium things go, but not colloids. That's why you're using these three examples, right? So ion, the smaller molecules of a true solution, they can pass through, not the colloid solution. This is what you use for dialysis. And it's just a fancy way of saying, look, this portal I put and what is here? I put this, hold on, I was going to write, but it's just coming through. Okay? Many things here. Here, water is my dispersion medium. Dispersed phase, yeah, dispersion medium. Okay. Colloid particle is the dispersed phase. Okay. And it's my electrolyte here. But I purify karna So I put this portal in it. And now there is only some water here. Now, why will it flow out? Why will water flow out? You remember this from, uh, what do you call this, solutions? The idea of osmosis, yeah? Because under pani ki concentration kam hai, bahar pani ki concentration zada hai, aur pani hi bahar ja sakta hai, to water will go out. You remember osmosis? Provoy absolutely, exactly like Kilti. Yes? Yehi ho raha pe. To isle pani bahar chala jata, everything else goes out. And you have good colloid there. Any doubts so far? Any doubts? We good here? Shall we go on to the next part? The next idea is that he look, because charged particles hai, let me speed that process up. That is what we do when sometimes your kidneys fail. And this is what is done in hospitals. Most relevant to you as aspiring doctors. Read about this in detail. Similar to Dallas, but faster. <laughs> if you have electrolytes that you want to remove, then if I apply a potential difference, then I can make this entire process faster. That's it. Potential difference, electric field, Joe, you want to Basically, I put a battery. Pura setup exactly the same. Hai, right? When I have a battery, I also need electrodes. This is something that you know, you've done ele electrochemistry in detail. Same thing is but I'm just speeding the whole thing up. Yes, it is similar to kidney, Rudar. This is exactly what it is. Oh, same thing you said. Maybe you have not said it late again. So, electrodialysis is that I have put electrodes in etc, etc. Let me see if I miss anything out. Yeah, that's it. Now, the difference is, the only difference is, ki, uh, you know, these electrolyte particles, if you have large particles, say, take the example of Fe3+, plus and Cl-, minus, right? Usme, mere paas pe tha, let's say this is Fe, OH, whole thrice. Or Fe, three plus particles यहाँ पे हैं. तो बचे क्या? Solution में सिर्फ Cl minus, है ना? तो ये Cl minus वाले निकल के चले जाएंगे plus जगह पे मतलब कि यहाँ पे आ जाएंगे Cl minus. That's all. ठीक है? So you have to like figure out ways to make sure that you know what you're doing. Like you are building this whole system and यहाँ पे chlorine gas निकल के तो भाई तुम क्या करोगे? Right? So you figure that out. So theoretically you study all this to know what apparatus to make practically. Okay, no doubts here. I'm guessing because there's nothing on the chat. You guys don't have doubts and this is all making sense to you. As Rudraksh said, this is the exact process that is used to purify blood in artificial kidney.
kidneys. A quick question. Where will chemical kinetics start? Rudraksh, maybe you have, check our thing out. We've already finished chemical kinetics all that. We are doing things in NCRT order. <laughs> so I'm at surface chemistry which is after chemical kinetics. So ho chuka hai. Check, check out videos. Anoop's done a lot of them on our channel. Which of the following impurities present in colloidal solution cannot be removed by electrodialysis? Ah, this is a fun question. This is a very interesting question. Sodium chloride, potassium, sulfate, urea, or calcium chloride. Rudash, I hope I've answered your question. Kya hua hai? Dekh lije. Koi doubts ho to ga. Comment on the videos. Jisme chemical kinetics ke video hai, usi mein comment kariye. We'll get back to you if you have any doubts. Mayuk is very confident about option C. What do the rest of you think? Do you support Mayuk? Do you have a different idea? Deepu, Laksha, a lot of you saying C. Okay. Asiya also is saying C. Looks like a answer. Why? Because this is charged. All of these others are charged. Hence, are not the answer. Hey, na? Hey, very good. Excellent. Excellent, everybody. Rudraksh and Deepan as well. Good job. Next part is ultra filtration. Ultra filtration. What is ultra filtration? Very strong filtration. No, it's just a fancy filter paper. Usually in a lab, you have different sizes of the pores of filter papers. Which numbers are Number 16, number whatever, this, that. And it tells you the size of these pores. Okay? If, you're, if you've ever been in a lab or you're going to do something in a lab, you need to tell them, Konsa filter paper say aapko? Yeah? So there's a special kind of filter paper that's prepared by, you know, two separate colloids out. Let's look at that. Yeah? Because all these sol, which is the same as saying colloid, particles will pass through regular filter papers. So what you do is prepare something called an ultra filter paper and it should basically just trap colloid particles. That's the goal. We want to trap them. We don't want the colloid particles to go through. Everything else should go through. So how do you prepare this fancy paper? You soak it in something called colloidal, collodion, sorry. I keep mispronouncing this one. Collodion solution. And then after you do that, you harden it by using formaldehyde and then you dry it. This is the process. This is something you have to remember. Take a screenshot of this or maybe make this thing. What exactly is collodion solution? This is 4% solution of nitrocellulose in a mixture of alcohol and ether. Interesting thing is that there is water. It, the solvent is ether and alcohol, right? And both of these are, this is a non-polar and this guy here is polar. There are reasons why all of these are taken, okay? Beyond the scope of our discussion. But anyway, what you get, see, normal filter paper, mein, the pores are pretty large. Ultra filter paper has very small pores. Okay, I've made this whole ultra filter paper. Him Chandra Joshi ji. Yehi hum sab ja rahe hai. I hope you're able to follow what I'm saying. Ultra, so yeah, you've got, I have managed to make this ultra fil filter paper, so to speak, yeah, with this collodion solution. So first I took 4% of nitrocellulose with alcohol and ether. I put that here. Then I use formaldehyde to dry it. Him Chanda, I'm repeating for your benefit. Please listen in. Uske baad, kya karna hai? After you do all this, theek hai, I've got that beautiful paper. I pass the solution through it. Now colloid is stuck. But yeah, my goal, my goal was to purify the colloid, not to trap it and throw it away. Okay, so I have captured it. Now somehow if I can just, you know, put it back into water or the dispersed medium itself, then I'm good. How do I do that? Ab, this time, I'll kind of wash it with just dispersion medium, water or anything else. Now I'll have just these colloidal particles and water. Okay, uh, colloids, dude, Rudrash, I'm unable to follow your doubt. <laughs> hey, everybody else, is this clear or is, is this going over your head? Because what Hey and Rudrash are saying seem like a little disconnected from the rest of the what we are talking about. Is everyone else okay? Uh, are you able to follow what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, Naruto, who are the other folks here? Deepan, Vita, Laksha, Deepu, Mayuk, Proboy, are you guys able to follow what I'm saying? Yeah, just checking in. No, no, don't apologize. It's all right, yeah. You, just, you can just rewind the video and watch it again, Rudrash. No tension. Okay, great. Cool. Let's move on to some properties of colloidal solutions. These 
So we've looked at how to prepare it. Now look at, look, we'll, we're going to look at some of them. We'll look at these, which are the easy ones. These are the interesting ones, which we'll look at the next time. Please read NCRT and come for this part. Okay. What are colligative properties? Yes, we've read in very detail. Right? Solutions chapter. Mein. Colligative properties depend on number of particles. Agar चीजें एग्रीगेट हो रही हैं, नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स तो कम हो रहे हैं, नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम कम हो रहे हैं, तो कॉलेगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज कम हो जाएंगी। व्हाट आर कॉलेगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज? पेपर प्रेशर, पार्शल प्रेशर, पाई और क्या क्या था? जो याद है आपको? आ, डेल्टा टीएफ, डेल्टा टीबी, कम हो जाएगी क्योंकि नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स इज रिड्यूसिंग एंड ऑल ऑफ दीज प्रॉपर्टीज डिपेंड ऑन नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स राइट एट द सेम कंसंट्रेशन ट्रू सॉल्यूशन ऑफ कोलाइड आई वेंट ऑफ फैक्टर एग्जैक्टली मयूख आई विल बी लेस देन 1 फॉर ऑल ऑफ दीस ठीक है गुड जॉब मयूख आई वाज जस्ट गोइंग टू अबाउट आई या दिस इज क्वाइट डायरेक्ट आई एम गोइंग टू मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन इज दिस ओके एट एनी पॉइंट इफ यू वांट टू स्टॉप मी प्लीज डू सो आई एम गोइंग टू गो ओवर दिस क्विकली बिकॉज़ आई डोंट वांट टू बोर यू ये सब चीज आप बहुत बार पढ़ चुके हैं बट मैं फिर से एक बार पढ़ा रहा हूं बिकॉज दिस इज एनसीआर टी एंड यू शुड नो दिस बट एट एनी पॉइंट इफ यू वांट मी टू स्टॉप एंड फिर से बोलना है रुद्राक्ष एनीबडी एल्स प्लीज डू दैट या ओके सो टिनर इफेक्ट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग आई पास अ आई पास अ बीम ऑफ लाइट इन अ यू नो थ्रू अ थ्रू अ कोलॉइड आई विल बी एबल टू सी इट्स पाथ दैट्स वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अ सॉल्यूशन ओके इन दैट यू वांट सी the path you will see the light exactly on the other side i'll show you an interesting video about that next time i have a small snippet from that video right now this phenomena is called tyndall effect because the guy deserves credit for figuring it out you see this now here what's happening is you're able to see the dust particles in air right but here's a quick thing are dust particles in air a colloid or are they a suspension it depends right because the dust particles are large enough it's a suspension if they're tiny it's a colloid so it could be either one yeah light coming from a small or dusty room exactly mayo so these this tyndall effect is shown and this is interesting listen to me carefully tyndall effect is shown for both suspensions and colloids not just colloids okay so tyndall effect is a good way of distinction between solution and colloids but not between suspension and uh, colloids okay ye yaad rakhiye this is a snippet from a video that i recorded recently you can see that this guy here the path of light which is just a laser pointer it's a red pointer i can see the path very nicely here and the light on my hand is really really small i'll if you want to see more of this video i'll i'll show it to you guys soon theek hai no it's not rude rudraksh that's that's the point of you know all of this right i'm sure it is absolutely akash is great for neat and for jay and for everything else <laughs> uh why is it rude that's as a as a consumer you 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 are you know free to ask about the service that is being provided by a company absolutely man absolutely you've seen a lot of those ads right 700 scores 715 scores so yeah i'm sure it's good uh check out the akash baiju's app and uh, since you're since you're online rudraksh and has pretty interesting practice along sessions as well anyway in a true solution no particles are of a large diameter for to mess with light i'm saying mess with technically diffract light yeah and to scatter light i'm sorry to scatter light and hence you don't see the beam but here the size of particles are at a wavelength that are that's you know very interesting uh, it's very close to that of the colloid particles itself and that's why they interact with them theek hai to true solution mein kuch nahi dikhta hai aur colloids mein humko ye dikhta hai cool any doubts here this process is scattering maine galti se for a second i said diffraction but scattering is what happens here all right now the color of solution right depends on what kind of uh, you know what are you looking at we'll talk about that quickly but why does tyndall effect happen first diameter of the dispersed particles is somewhere similar to the wavelength of light that you are shining on it okay why physics pe hai detail mein oh great man good to know rudrash good to know uh good to know that you're checking this out please if you like this video tell your friends in your class to check it out well i'm sure it'll help them maybe sometimes you miss class right और वो नहीं हो पाता है यू वांट टू चेक आउट फिर से रिवाइज करना है वीडियोस आर अ गुड वे टू डू दैट इदर ऑन द YouTube चैनल और ऑन द ऐप यस मच लोअर साइज ऑफ कोलर पार्टिकल द नेक्स्ट वन इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग द रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ डिस्पर्स फेज एंड मीडियम शुड डिफर ग्रेटली इन मैग्नीट्यूड ये वाला क्यों 
वॉट इज वॉट इज रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स है अगर रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ज्यादा होता है तो लाइट बेंड्स लॉट मोर ये याद है सेवेंथ या एथ ग्रेड फिजिक्स में था यहां से अरे यार इट्स हार्ड टू ड्रॉ स्ट्रेट लाइन रुको फिर से करता हूं लाइट बेंड्स टूवर्ड्स द नॉर्मल ये फिजिक्स याद आ रही है ठीक है तो बिकॉज इज बेंडिंग ऑफ लाइट टूवर्ड्स द नॉर्मल वेन द रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स इज बहुत ज्यादा अलग है इसीलिए यू नो दिस थिंग इज Beneficial. This property is beneficial for me to see the beam of light. ठीक है. तो ये दोनों चीजें हैं. तो Tyndall effect works in water and something else. Maybe the same thing would not work in oil or something else like that. ठीक है. Cool. These are two points that you need to keep in mind. I know it's a little muggy because it's not something you can experience right now. I can show you a lot of examples, but like, yeah, what do you do with that, right? Anyway, true solution does not show Tyndall effect. This guy does. The color of solutions, color of colloids is, is colloidal solution is very interesting. Yeah. It depends on the wavelength of light scattered by dispersed particles. Just building on the last idea itself, right? Scatter light हो रही है. उससे कुछ light मेरे आँख में आ रही है, which is reflected, and some light is going through that dispersed medium. Think about it. There are two things, right? Transmitted light, reflected light. There's another called refracted, but we're not talking about that right now. हम लोग assume कर रहे हैं कि सब या तो मेरे आँख में आ रही है, या तो फिर transmit हो रही है. You know that from physics, right? There are three three things like. Transmission, uh, reflection, refraction, etc. Is that right, or is that the third way? I get the third one wrong. Can you help me out with that? Which of the following properties? Are you asking me a question? I don't know. Rudash, I'm not understanding. Your question. There is transmission, and there is reflection. Okay, of light. What is the third one? There were three, three, three ideas, right? Of light. Who will help me? Physics part. You guys remember? Have you already studied it? Any inputs on that? This was best shown when we had the particles of refraction. Is that correct? Though, I have refraction to bold here, but I'm not that great at physics. You guys are much better at physics. Maybe it's correct. Maybe it's a third thing or something else. This time, Orang can help me out with that. Okay. So, I told you in the last session that gold particles ke colors ke size ki wajah se bahut interesting cheez hui. That was the first. Very cool thing to do with narrow, narrow technology, right? You get particles of small enough size, and you get like a very, very bright red-colored solution. And as you increase the size, those particles become purple, then blue, and then golden. Gold, it's gold, so it's not really golden, but it also shows you red. So that's very funky. That's pretty interesting. Now we haven't shown the whole spectrum over here in terms of these, these things, but as you increase the size of these colloid particles, it goes from red onto a different shade. Okay. Now. That's one thing. जो आपको क्या दिख रहा है, that is reflected. जो जो light reflect हो आपके आँख में जाके, that is one thing. The other is what light is transmitted. Now hold on for a second here, right? वो तो उसका complement ही होगा, from physics a little bit. If something is being reflected, then everything that's not being reflected is transmitted, correct? But how do you see the transmitted light? Okay, let's check it out. How do you see the transmitted light? I'll take an example of milk and water. जहाँ पे अच्छी तरह आप देख सकते हैं, यहाँ पे reflected light is blue और transmitted light red होती है। This looks like magic, but if you know science, you're like, yeah, absolutely। अगर blue मुझे दिख रही है, then that gets transmitted and मुझे लाल दिखता है। Here is the quick animation to show this. Okay, here's a torch that's going to shine some light and it's converging the lens light on using the lenses converging onto the colloidal solution of milk. मतलब मैं कुछ ड्रॉप्स मिल्क डालता हूँ पानी में दैट्स हाउ यू गेट दिस इफ यू टेक मिल्क एज इट इज घर पे मुश्किल होगा बट इफ यू टेक लाइक अ फ्यू ड्रॉप्स ऑफ मिल्क लाइक पांच छह ड्रॉप्स उसको पानी डालो यू कैन एक्चुअली सी दिस राइट एंड यू कीप इंक्रीजिंग द अमाउंट ऑफ मिल्क यू पुट एंड दिस ब्लू कलर विल बिकम मोर मोर ब्यूटीफुल और वो रेड भी ज्यादा इंटेंसिटी बढ़ती जाएगी दिस कैन डेफिनेटली वर्क आउट ठीक है सो या दैट्स दैट दो टू थिंग्स रुद्राक्ष आपने Which properties तो बोला but you didn't give me the options. What do you mean? Which properties do not? मैं आपका सवाल पूरी तरह समझा नहीं दूसरा। I'm not ignoring you. I'm just not able to follow your question. Which property colloid does not depend on charge of particles? I guess all of these, right? I mean, if something has to do with technically, you could say that everything depends on charge of particles. अगर charge नहीं होगा, तो कुछ नहीं होगा। Charge होगा तभी तो stabilize होगा। So इसलिए ये question थोड़ा open ended है। Yeah, I think what you mean to ask is कि which properties are only dependent on charge? And some properties, maybe like this, are not because of the charge, but are because of the size. If that's your question, then 
yeah, I hope that helps. Hey, Poonam. Okay, great. Any doubts so far? Any doubts? We'll just take five more minutes to complete this up. Let's take this question. Aqueous gold colloidal solution is red in color. Reason? That's the assertion. Is the color arise due to scattering of light by colloidal gold particles? Now, this whole question after doing I hope that there's no doubt in this. This aims were asked, but hey, I've gone through quite some detail in the whole thing, right? Any doubts on this question? Do you, you think we're going to be able to do this? Why are you saying B? Hmm. So is uh, Poonam. Are you sure it's B? Tipu saying B. What is B? Huh. Mujhe to A lag raha hai. Laksha is also saying B. Why are we saying B? The color is due to scattering of light by colloidal gold particles. Theek hai. But why B and why not A? Main samjha nahi. Explain it to me. Mujhe laga it was A. Uh, and Dipanvita, Asya and Deepu are saying A now. From B to A. So we've got a split, split vote here so to speak. Help me understand people who said B. Why do you think that the reason is not the correct explanation of the assertion? Color to scattering ke wajah se hota hai na. Scatter karne ke baad hi kuch light reflect hoti hai. Aur wahi humare aaf pe jati hai. Hence the reason is correct. Yeah? Are you guys alright? Uh, Poonam and Mayuk? The answer should be option A. Alright? If you have any doubts, please stop and ask me. Okay, great. The last property for today is Brownian moment. And this is something again you've been studying from a lower grade. Right? What is Brownian moment? Apne aap cheeze hamesha move karti At a given temperature, things always move. If the things that I'm talking about are large enough, you can see it under a, just a normal microscope. Okay? Okay, not a normal microscope. Sorry, you need an ultra microscope. Two lenses. Ek nahin, do lens dalne padein. Compound microscope, make all lens. Okay? You see zigzag motion and this is Brownian mo moment. And... This is literally nothing other than just the, because of the temperature of the substance itself, right? The temperature of the whole colloid itself. Now this is cool, right? Ye is ki wajah se colloid stable ho jata hai. Because things keep moving, then they don't aggregate. So this is a beautiful idea. Because of Brownian movement, the red things are solute, are dispersion medium particles, red part. The blue part are the colloidal solutions. Colloidal sols to be specific. And the path being traced by it is what is brown in motion. Okay? Cool? Zigzag moment. Yeah. Simple stuff. Simple stuff. What are the factors what, what are the factors that depend on I mean that affect brown movement? Nature of the colloid, size of the particles and viscosity. Absolutely. Agar mein paani ke bajaya koi aur cheez lo, jiske wase viscosity bad jayegi, then this brown in movement won't be as active. Okay? They, because they keep these guys moving, they prevent them from settling down, which is good for stability of colloids. Bird is traced. Yeah, it looks like a bird, huh? That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Couple of homework questions and we call it a day. Here's the first one. Here's the first one. A liquid is found to scatter a beam of light, but leaves no residue when passed through the filter paper. The liquid can be described as what? Ah, don't answer it right now. Keep this one. The next one is, compared to com common colloidal salts, missiles are, which of these four options? Cool. A quick summary of everything we've done so far. We started with the whole idea of missiles. Right, I give you a lot of gyan about why it's actually useful. Yeah, this is the polar part and there's a non-polar part, which is the hydrocarbon bit. Yeah, that sticks to the inside and forms the missiles at the craft temperature as well as critical missile concentration. Right, uh, and they form the spherical, spherical things. We looked at three different ways of preparation of colloids. Chemical, electrical disintegration, peptidation. Chemical methods for reduction of double decomposition. Oxidation as well as hydrolysis. We've done this in detail. Bredig's arc, mein, we basically put ice around it because there's a lot of heat from it. There's literally electric arc that comes, vaporizes the metal, disperses it, then condenses it perfectly to the amazing size of colloids. Okay? Peptidation was okay. I had a sort of precipitate thing. I had some ions, a little bit electrolyte. And that forms these nice positive or negative charge that, you know, makes, stabilizes the colloid. And then, okay, we put some electrolyte, now let's remove it. Three ways, dialysis, electrolysis, ultrafiltration. Dialysis was literally the, using the idea of osmosis, yeah. 
एक पार्टिकल आई मीन यहाँ पे वी पुट दिस पार्चमेंट ऑफ मेमरी दैट लेट्स सोलवेंट लेट्स डिस्पर्जन मीडियम थिंग्स गो आउट पार्टिकल्स गो आउट इलेक्ट्रोलाइट गो आउट बट रिटेन द कोलॉइड and you get this purified speed it up if you have electrolytes in the mix right and ultra filtration paper made of a colloidal colloid <laughs> colloidion solution 4% kya tha usme nitrocellulose alcohol and ether and then you dry it using formaldehyde and then uske baad i wash it with dispersion medium and there you go good old colloid okay after that we've just looked at colligate properties getting smaller Tentinel effect, which is the whole idea of two points of tentinel effect, diameter of the dispersed particles are very close to the wavelength of the light being used. The refractive indices should differ greatly in magnitude. Hey Ayush, that's all right. You're back. Okay, that's all right. Baad mein dekh lena. It's cool. It's cool. Iska answer three hoga. Good job, Puna. I'm not sure which one, but baad hoga question. Sure, sure. Good stuff. It's all right, Rudraksh. Baad mein dekh lena. That's the beauty about videos, right? They're always going to be there on YouTube. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Tinder effect is amazing. If you guys want to see this video, this full whole, whole video, let me know. I'll try and post it for you guys. Yeah, this is a snapshot, uh, a snippet of a video on Tinder effect. Uh, colors may two factors hain. First one ki okay, things get reflected. The other one is ki how do you, you know, how who who's seeing the light? Is it the transmitted light or is it reflected light? First one was obviously sorry, the size of the particles. Being close to the wavelength of light, the color depends on both of these two things. Brown movement, ultra micro band, the dikta hai, matlab bahut zada zigzag movement, and this makes things stable. Okay, that's it from me. थोड़ा सा लंबा हो गया session. I think next वाला session भी थोड़ा सा लंबा होगा, because we just trying to wrap up this uh, what should I call it chapter tomorrow. Yeah, we'll finish it up, and then on Monday we'll start with thermo. Tuesday we'll do metallurgy. Thermo के बाद हम लोग करेंगे equilibrium eleventh में, twelfth में करेंगे हम लोग हेलो नो वेट आइसोमेरिज्म सीरो आइसोमेरिज्म उसके बाद हेलो कूल ग्रेट बीइंग विथ यू एज ऑलवेज आई सी यू अराउंड टुमारो विल रैप दिस अप प्लीज रीड दी एनसीईआरटी चार पांच पेज ही हैं पढ़ के आइए कल हम लोग मिलते हैं ऑल राइट सी ऑल अराउंड बाय बाय